Hey guys, it's Huff. I am back again and this is going to be a Priceline haul including the um, makeup bag thing that they recently promoted where if you spent $60 on cosmetic type things you got a bag like this that had up to I think it's like $150 worth of stuff in it. So I decided I was going to do that, not that I really needed more stuff. Um, this is um, there'll be another kind of whole video that's going up to, well, while I'm filming this, I'm currently uploading one. Um, and then I've got a nail art type haul. Um, but this will be the last that I buy until Priceline's 40% off sale in October and November, where it is. Because I've spent too much money this year, and I have to be a little bit more strict with myself. If you're wondering what is on my lips, because it is kind of very sparkly, <laughs> um, it is the... Clean Colour Femme Lipstick in Ocean Streak, which is kind of a purpley kind of colour. Um, yeah, so I have the purple smoky eye and purple lips. Go figure, I was wearing green lips before, but I changed. So, um, to spend the $60, I um, Maybelline actually was on sale. Um, I think it was 30% off or something on Maybelline. Um, so basically everything that I bought except for two of them were Maybelline and the other two were Rimmel. I think Rimmel was on sale as well. So um, I got the Colossal Volume Express Mascara. I've never actually used this one. Some people really like it. Some people don't like it. I thought, well, I'll add it to my collection to try out at some stage. I also got the Maybelline Baby Lips instant pore eraser. I have quite significant pores in this area here and on my nose so I like trying pore products. I just got the Benefit Porefessional. Um, haven't tried it yet. So this is another thing that's sort of got going in the collection for when I've used up what I'm currently using. I also got the Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the matte and poreless version. In, 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 in what colour is it? Porcelain 110 porcelain because um, I haven't actually tried this one I have the fit me um, powder and I did try the fit me concealer but it was the lighter shade is actually too dark you need to go up a shade which is really weird but that's actually how it is with that particular um, thing so right, I was just taking off the security thing that is stuck on here um, yeah, so I haven't actually tried it. None of this stuff, I haven't even opened it. I just, I bought it and I stuck it in the bag. So, <laughs> um, so the two things from Rimmel that I got was the Scandalized Thick and Thin Eyeliner. Um, I don't know if it's any good. I haven't actually tried it. I haven't heard a whole lot about this particular one either. thought I'd try it out, but it'll probably just go in the collection for now because I'm working on some other ones. Um, and I also got the Rimmel Super Curler Volume and Curl Mascara. Again, I haven't actually really heard anything about this mascara. No fagging idea. So, I don't know. I'm sure it's fine. But basically, I bought those things, which are really things that are um, staples. So, they're not like, I didn't buy something that's sort of like, not going to be something that I'll be able to use like 12 months from now, sort of thing. Um... Anyway, so what you get is you get this cool looking bag, pink and flowery, and there's all the stuff inside it. So let's have a look at what's inside the bag. First thing you get is a scrubby for the shower. This one's from Eco Tools. Quite like Eco Tools. This one is a 100% recycled sponge. Um, not keen on the colour particularly, but it's fine. I'll probably give it to like the man or something. He'd probably like this. Um, yeah, apparently this is a mini sponge. This is like the size of sponge I generally use. It's like, okay. Um, yeah. So that is kind of cool. Then we have the Manicare Moisturizing Nail Polish Remover Pads. These are acetone free, added vitamin E with a coconut scent, apparently. I'm not hugely keen on these, um, Personally, I tend to find that they leave my fingers feeling oily in an unpleasant kind of way, but that's that might just be the ones I've used. Um, or I find that they are too dry and they don't effectively remove nail polish, like you need like one for every finger, which kind of annoys me. And considering there's only 32 of them in here, that would be like three manicures. And 
that doesn't work for me. Um, next, we have from Maybelline um, the Master Graphic Liquid Liner in bold black. It looks like a bloody sharpie. A sharpie for your eyes. Um, haven't, again, I mean, I've heard about it, but not like a huge amount. Um, but yeah, um, another thing to add to the collection of liquid eyeliners that I now have. Um, then we have a couple of nail things. Uh, the first one is their Essie's, um, what do they call this? Good to go. This is their top coat. Um, this is like a mini bottle of their top coat. Um, honestly, Essie is not my favorite brand. Um, just personal preference thing. We also got a colored nail polish. This is Essie's Peach Daiquiri, which looks something like that. Uh, it's kind of an orangey pink. Um, sort of like a dark coral kind of color is how I would describe it. Um, two coats. It's a tiny bit patchy and tiny bit sheer. But it's fine. It's an interesting colour. Not sure if I've got too many other colours in my collection that are the same as that. Then we have from Nude by Nature the Undercover Airbrush Mineral Primer. Which looks like that. Um, apparently it's supposed to be good if you're putting on uh, mineral makeup. I've never actually tried anything by Nude by Nature. It is safety sealed. I'm not actually going to open it. Um, but it's interesting to have, and you know, this is a 50ml one, so it's a good size. I mean, all of this so far has been, except for the mini top coat, have been like basically full-size items. So it's not like they're giving you sample items, they're actually giving you full-size products. Then we have the Savvy Clear Brow Gel. Savvy is a designer brand's brand. Designer brands are not my favourite brand. <laughs> Savvy is kind of like a cheapy brand in Australia. Um, it's okay. Um, a lot of the stuff they I've got of that Savvy is is fine, but it's more like the kind of stuff I generally give to my daughter rather than use myself. If you know what I mean. Um, clear brow gel is always something that is useful. Um, I haven't really been using it recently, but it is still a useful product. Then we have a sample of the L'Oreal Base Magic transforming smoothing primer so that's two primers so far um, I haven't tried this um, one I have heard quite a bit about it it will be interesting to try out a sample of it so we did get one sample item um, and then yeah, as you said there's a fair amount in here it's not like there's only one or two products um, then we have the physicians former concealer twins <coughs> which is a um, double-ended concealer thing. This end is very, very yellow. This end is not so yellow. I'm not sure how this is going to go on me. This is slightly pink on this end. But this is very, very yellow. I, I have no idea whether this colour is going to work for me. It doesn't actually tell me what colour it is supposed to be. It does not have that information on it anywhere. So I don't know whether I only do this in like one colour or something, which seems a little strange. But, okay, so that's that. Then we have, just pull the rest of it out of the bag. We have from Revlon one of their matte balms. Um, as I said, I haven't really opened any of this. So let me grab my scissors. Oh, wow. Super hard plastic. Destroy the container trying to get it open. Ugh. Why make it so hard, Revlon? I want to get into you. No. I hate that. Ugh. Okay, so that is what it looks like. It's kind of an autumny sort of shade. Um, it is in sultry sulfurous. What the hell? Why would you put sulfur in a name of a lipstick? That's just weird. 
Um, it's number 225. It's actually quite a nice shade. Like, it's a fairly everyday shade for me. Might be a bit dark for some people, but, yeah, it's nice enough. Then we have another thing that is, well, okay. This is the Models Prefer Nude Cream Eyeshadow in a stick form, clearly. Let's see if this one's a little bit easier to open. Again, I didn't open anything because I was kind of like, oh, well, I'm going to do a video, so I don't want to open anything. But I should always remember to remove packaging from things because I am a little bit package challenged. <laughs> Which apparently is a uh, YouTuber trait. If you're not package challenged, you're not doing YouTube right. Um, this is apparently in the colour Glisten. just be easy to get the plastic off. Sheesh kebab. Didn't quite get all the plastic off. But anyway. um, it's a twisty up stick type of thing. Hmm. It's kind of a rose, kind of a rose goldy sort of shade. Kind of shimmery. Bit, you know, it probably makes a really nice eye base um, type thing. <laughs> That's fun. Um, Priceline is based in Camberwell, which is where my grandfather used to live. <laughs> oh, the things that amuse us. Um, the next thing is a L'Oreal Infallible um, eyeshadow, pressed pigment, whatever you want to call them. Um, this one is in um, Permanent Khaki. I really wish they'd put the H in it to make it khaki and not khaki, because khaki means a horrible colour. Um, but it is a iridescent green, um, quite similar to the lipstick I was wearing earlier. It is very pretty, but it is very similar in colour to the lipstick I was wearing before. <laughs> that, would, that would be interesting. Um, hang on, I've got, the, I've got the lipstick sitting here and it just amuses me to see if it's really as close as it appears to be in my brain. Oh no, my lipstick was a bit darker. That's the NYX Wicked Lippy in uh, Trickery Sh Super Cherie. So <laughs> that's, that there's the lipstick, that's the eyeshadow. <laughs> just so you can see it is in fact green. Um, two more products. The first one is from Australis, which is an Australian brand, and it is quite a good brand. There are quite a few things from Australis that I really, really like, um, that a couple of which I'm currently using. And it's reasonably priced, um, comparable to the beginner brands like um, Rimmel um, and Maybelline. This is one of their metallics eyeshadows. This is in Guns and Rose Petals. Oh, I love that. Guns and Roses. That's excellent. Um, it is super duper shiny. Just got lipstick all over my finger. Okay, it's um, a cream. It's weird texture. Um, yeah, feels really weird when, it doesn't help that I've got great big long fingernails. Um, it reminds me a lot of, um, the colour tattoo. Did you realise it was cream? I was, I was really not expecting that. Um, that's it, right there. It is a really beautiful colour. But yeah, I, was, I wasn't expecting the texture of it because I hadn't opened it and I haven't used them before. And I haven't really seen anybody else use one before. So, yeah. But that's interesting. It's a really interesting colour. And the last thing we've got, it's one of those things that you get and you just think, oh, wow. And then you can't open it and then you kind of like... So, in this case, it's a Versace perfume. Um, I'm not the biggest perfume. It's an eau de toilette, sorry. Uh, this is Versace Crystal Noir. Um, you know, status symbol. I've got Versace perfume. <laughs> and 
and the bottle is very cute I, I do like it it's slightly purple in tone and it's got this really cool like top thing on it and then you pull it up to use it I am not keen on the scent um, unfortunately apparently my partner and my child both thought it was quite nice um, but it really I, I can't tell you what the notes on it are or anything because I don't have that information um, it is most things that say noir tend to be quite musky and that's probably one of the reasons I don't like it because on myself I don't like that smell um, Dracar Noir is one of my favourite men's fragrances, so I obviously kind of like the musky thing. But I like the musky thing if I know it's a bloke's perfume or cologne, not females. Um, yeah, so you know, it's cool to have, be able to say I have a Versace fragrance, but it's just the smell is like, it is a very, um, to me, it is a very much a nighttime fragrance and it is quite intense and I guess it's kind of sexy and that kind of thing a bit dark hence the noir um, but not really a fragrance that I particularly like I prefer a much gentler like citrusy kind of smell and this is definitely not citrusy in the slightest so it's nice to have um, I might use it occasionally it's you know but that's probably one of the more expensive things in the bag too. So that is everything that I got from my latest Priceline buy. So, you know, a few things I bought for myself and a few things from this cool bag. And it was good. I actually really enjoyed getting all those different things. So if you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Leave me a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.